Hello everyone! Today we are looking at the Crucial DDR Plug and Play 64GB Pro Series of RAM. 3200MT slash S UDIMM kit requires Intel Core 8th to 11th gen CPUs and AMD Ryzen 1000 to 5000 CPUs. It's plug and play, scan for the setup, and desktop memory, not for laptops. On the back, it tells you, you can game at higher frame rates, unleash your creativity, enhance productivity to save time and money in other languages as well. Read it if you need. They are $95 on Amazon. Let's open them up and look at them. And this is exactly what these RAMs look like. Very basic, but I will say I like how clean it is. I like the contrast in colors, green, gold, black, white. I do love the Crucial logo. It's awesome. DDR4 Pro. Flipping it over on the back, it's got all the information in case you couldn't really see the box for some reason. There's all the information right there. And these are backward compatible with motherboards. I believe my motherboard only supports 2666 and not 3200. And um, so let's go test these out. No, it's kind of hard to see, but there are the two RAM sticks plugged in for 64 gigabytes of memory. And my PC did turn on. A lot of people said they had issues with their PCs booting after putting the RAM in. Mine works just fine. All right. We're going to go to DX Diag. Type it in your search and click it. DX Diag will tell you if all your RAM is currently being detected. And there's the memory, 65 gigabytes of RAM. Let's test it out. All right, everyone, as you can see, we got Task Manager up. We got Adobe Premiere Pro editing a video that's shot in 2K. And we have Fortnite up in the background. And we also have a 2K video test. I know it says 4K, 60 FPS, but in the settings, I lowered it to 1440p, 60 FPS, it's 2K video because my screen is a 2K screen. All running in the background with Fortnite with the 64 gigabytes of RAM and Adobe Premiere Pro with the 2K video editing is using 9162 MB around there of RAM, 17% of the 64 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, Fortnite is using three and the uh, 2K video test is using 904 for around 13 to 14, um, well, 12 to 14 uh, RAM usage, and the rest of them don't even really matter because the barrel makes a dent. So we're gonna also have that up. Fortnite is in a window, but keep an eye on the memory right here for what's being used. We're gonna load up a match because this is just the menu of Fortnite. It is not an actual game, and by the actual game, it should, um, Pop up the memory usage a lot more. So, we're going to join back in the video once I get into a match. And now in the game, the editor's using 10 uh, gigabytes of RAM and Fortnite was using 5,000. It's now at 4,800 to 4,900. But that's because I'm on the bus still. Once I get to a highly densed area, it'll probably bump up to five, six, or seven gigabytes. All right, it's up at 5.3954 on uh, Fortnite, 5,466 5, to 5,506 are the averages. Here's a lot of trees, 5,500, 5,904, 5, gigabytes to almost 10 gigabytes on the editor. Just from loading into a Fortnite game, it bumped up the usage on everything else. This 64 gigabytes of RAM is really, really good for having a YouTube 2K video test at 60 FPS, Fortnite running at 240 FPS, and my 2K video and the editor running all at the same time. This is quite incredible, I will say. Here we go, let's get some little uh, pixel density. Boom, it bumped it up to 5,900 just with that explosion for half a second. <laughs> That's awesome. So the 64 gigabytes of RAM is working quite well. I'm either going to get somebody with my GUN, my gun, because uh, YouTube doesn't like that we're gone. They try to censor a lot of people with guns. Uh, they don't like it. Oh, 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 here we go. Showtime winner, showtime winner. Here we go, chicken dinner. Can we get somebody? 
Oh yeah. Uh, dance on. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's see if we can't get somebody else. If there's anybody else around here, I'm trying to. Oh, I know something that'll make the memory uses go wild. Hopefully, the six gigabytes of um, RAM usage. Here we go. There's some uh, shrooting over here. Shrooting over there. <laughs> I hate that I gotta censor myself on the internet. It shouldn't be a crime to use words. Woo, look at that. Nope, still not at 60 gigabytes. Uh oh, we got a builder over here. We got a builder. Oh, woo! Not for long. Got another one. Uh oh, one more. There we go. And it is still at 5,692. And 6,925 on the video being exported or playing. The video is being played in my editor. Sorry, I said exported. That sounded like Roller Coaster Tycoon for a second. What the heck? <laughs> what was that? So that's three KILOSs in a row. Oh, there's one more. We'll get one more. I just saw some uh, the shooting uh, effect over there. Why am I hearing... Oh, the roller coaster tycoon for my video test. <laughs> I was like, why? But yeah, as you can see, there's no stutter at all with 64 uh, gigabytes of RAM from Crucial. And I don't know where these other people are. My wife's arms are getting really tired, so I'm going to try and find one more person. I'm going to try to also get it to go to 7 gigabytes on... Oh, there... Oh, 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 it stuttered. It stuttered. I mean, it stuttered, it stuttered again. I'm finally getting to it. I'm finally getting to the RAM. My CPU usage is only a little over 50%. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Did I get him? Oh, he's a real person. Oh, he's healing. one more on, oh, two more shots on them. Uh, so everyone, I highly recommend this RAM. Um, that's awesome that I can have all that up at the same time. A 2K video in my video editor, my screen on 2K, and a 2K video on YouTube at 60 FPS and Fortnite at 240 FPS, all playing at the same time with this RAM. And it doesn't slow down my computer at all. It probably stuttered because my GPU usage is at 98%, so that's why it was stuttering, not the RAM's fault. I highly recommend this RAM for everyone wanting 64 gigabytes of RAM by Crucial 64 Pro. You will not regret it. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out. Crucialed.